Hey, oh, ah, ah, oh. <laughs> Where'd you guys come from, man? You guys keep sneaking up on me, I swear. What's up, everybody? I'm the Bentis, and we're back with another YouTube video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be going over a tooth transformation of a kid who's got some of the two biggest front teeth I've ever seen in my life. This transformation's crazy, man. You guys tag me in this hundreds of times. Let's get into it. For the last five years, even Hill has made monthly visits to the orthodontist. That's good. Today, you gotta make your monthly Jewish visits. boy with the giant black teeth is finally getting his braces Let's see off. how really big these black teeth are. Even and his family appeared on Campbell Live. And I call oh! Those are some big incisors! Holy moly! You know, normally, when you see something like that, it's really common to have the lip go up underneath the front two teeth and push them out. But these are just, not only are they doing that, they're giant. Like, those are some big front teeth. Holy moly. Let's see how he fixes this. A bunny rabbit, <laughs> not. Aww. Why well, you guys gotta be so mean, man? You can call them people bunny rabbits? That is just not cool, man. So it's interesting in this frame, basically, he's going over. So we can actually see what's going on with this dude's teeth. And it looks like he's got a really big class two, which is basically means your upper jaw is in front of your lower jaw. And you can see in that little mold in the corner there, up on the screen, you can see how far out it is. It's like 14, 15 millimeters. That's huge. It's crazy. Okay, so what you're seeing here is what we actually do sometimes. It's called like cephalometric tracing. Cephalometric means looking at the side of your head in an x-ray. And then tracing is what you see there below. Now, those different angles are different angles that we use to see if your teeth are in the right position, too far forward. Are they too in front of your lips, behind your lips? It's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. This takes a long time. Um, yeah, 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 it takes a long time to do this, but it's necessary in some type of cases, especially in a massive one like this, which it looks like it's a class two. So let's continue moving forward. Over a hundred thousand dollars was raised. Come Ooh, they raised a hundred thousand dollars to Evan fix it? could have his teeth fixed and orthodontist Ronald Sluter carried out the work. He hey, shout out Ronald. Evan's teeth 15 millimeters. Okay, so just so you know, 15 millimeters is a lot. Somebody with a normal overbite is like two to three millimeters. This guy's got 15. And shout out to Ronald Sluter, man. You know, we try and do this. This is one of the coolest parts about orthodontics is we get to do cool stuff for people who need it sometimes. And especially guys like this, you know, being able to raise money and all that stuff. Like for something nice, obviously you guys know my toothbrush company, something nice. Um, you know, not only do we give a toothbrush away to a kid in need, but what we're doing is we're taking portions of proceeds for our other products in the future. And we're hopefully gonna start raising stuff to do some really cool stuff like this. So hopefully one day I can do a lot of really cool stuff like this too. But let's keep going and see how he fixes it. Transforming him from a boy who was bullied and called rabbit kid. Man, rabbit man kid, that's savage, man. Smile come a long way, haven't we? Yep, yep. Got them taking the braces off. We're about to see the reveal already. Evan's mum is forever grateful to New Zealanders' generosity, Dude, making I bet. this all possible. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is that CAD CAM 3D model, and you can really see how big out it is. Now, his molars are actually forward, and you can kind of tell. I bet you what happened, and, and more than likely, um, this is how he fixed it. Something that big either requires surgery, which means you got to break the jaw and bring it back, which it doesn't look like they did, or you have to remove two upper premolars, bringing those teeth back, fixing that bite. I'm pretty sure he just took out two upper premolars, maybe even two lower ones in the back to bring stuff forward, but more than likely two up top, brought it back, kept him class two. He's good to go. Let's check it out and see the result. The other children need yeah, look how wide they're in there. Families can't afford. I don't know where we would have been today without the generosity. Um, For sure. You know, we had been looking at probably mortgaging our house. It's such a good feeling them. seeing a patient Even with their braces off. Evan is looking at a career as a train driver and has just that. one word to describe his new look. Look at him go! Good. An amazing transformation. Look at that. So you can see this is beforehand how big his teeth out. Now, when you have buck teeth like this or rabbit teeth or whatever they were calling him, a lot of things that we find, and this normally happens in males, but you can actually injure these guys really bad because they're sticking out so far. If you fall, normally we see the kids are first learning to ride their bike, you fall. And when they hit their face, they actually have a really high chance of breaking those off in half. It happens a lot more than you think. Also biting into lips, things like that. Because he's sucking on his lip, 
like that, it's putting pressure on those upper teeth, which is just going to continue to make it worse over time unless he gets it fixed, which he got it fixed. So it looks really good. It's pretty awesome. Made possible by the goodwill. And look at that. It looks good. I wish I could see if he took those two teeth out, but I can't see. So there you go, a crazy transformation and something that some New Zealanders came together and make a dude smile better. Now, one of the best things in my career is literally popping those brackets off and seeing that smile. You, you, like, there's nothing like it. It's one of the most heartwarming feelings. Like, the parents are crying, the kids are happy. I mean, I take kids that never want to smile ever again, and then you fix their teeth, and then they're getting a girlfriend, they're smiling, they're happy, and everything like that. It is the best. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you want to support us, Something Nice Toothbrushes are out now in the new colorways, the white the purple and the black you know if you're trying to give back and help us give back to others and maybe potentially do some stuff like this for some of you out there then make sure to hit that up somethingnicecompany.com i love you guys till the next one i'll see you later i'm the bentis we out Bang!